Because of mud snails, Fred Partridge cleans his fishing gear before he steps into any stream. Snails will dislodge a lot easier when they're dry than they will when they're wet, and uh, there's a better chance of knocking them off completely. Today, Partridge and a co-worker are checking what impact the invasive New Zealand mud snail may be having on a trout stream near Hagerman. If it turns out that mud snails really have a negative impact on the productivity, you're going to find fewer fish, smaller fish uh, in your favorite high-quality trout stream, uh, especially the spring-fed systems. The reason is fish will eat mud snails but can't digest them, and the invading snails are out competing the good fish food, such as native snails and bugs. Yeah, that's about as big as they get. It's hard to believe these tiny black specks can harm a stream, but it only takes one snail to start a new colony, and within months, there can be thousands, overwhelming the natural ecosystem. Some of the ideal waters that they found up in Yellowstone, they found up over half a million of those in a square meter of substrate. Mud snails were accidentally introduced into the Mid-Snake region in the 1980s and have since spread throughout southern Idaho. Pretty much any of the spring-fed systems that don't freeze during the wintertime throughout the state are a likely source where they could become established. It's impossible to avoid mud snails if they're in the water. They get lodged in gear and can survive for days in the moist corners of fishing and boating equipment. To battle the invasion of New Zealand mud snails, Partridge has a tip for anglers. Go down to the automotive store, buy a scrub brush they use for cleaning tires or something, and works just fine. Then brush, let dry, and brush again. Michelle Hicks, Idaho Fishing Game.